Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to make a uh, dotted cut outline. As you can see, um, this is a dotted cut outline that you can use for your, um, if you're making printables or uh, cut out pages for kids. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so here we are. Um, so again, I'm going to show you how to make a uh, cut line, a dotted line guide for cutting outside um, artwork. So the first thing I have are two images or two shapes. I have my head shape and I have just a rectangle shape, which I'm going to use as just a strip um, for a headband that I am uh, making for a children's party. And so I just put one on top of the other. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the layer. Uh, so let's call this, um, this is going to be our outline, which is going to be the dotted outline. And then this is going to be the original artwork, which I want to keep safe. I will lock it. And now we're going to work on our outline layer. So all you need to do is um, select all of this layer. So you can press Control A if you're on a Windows. Um, or Apple A if you're on a Mac, I believe. Um, or you can just select everything with your mouse. And then what you need to do is go to Object, Path, Outline Stroke, and then come over to your Pathfinder. Now you can get your Pathfinder uh, panel in your Windows um, drop down menu. And here we go Pathfinder. And then you just go onto your Pathfinder and click on Unite. And that's going to give you a silhouette. So this is a perfect silhouette of your original artwork. Okay, so as you can see, it's a perfect silhouette. And now what I want to do is I want to thicken this outline. So I want it to be slightly bigger. So I'll show you here. This is the original artwork on the top. Now what I'm going to do is go into Window and then I will go into brrr, Stroke, sorry, Stroke. I always confuse brushes and Stroke. And I want to increase, increase the weight of my Stroke. So let's increase this to 8 is what I've done before. So I'm going to do, mm, okay, let's do it 6 this time. So as you can see, if you didn't notice, um, just on the outside, it's getting thicker. So we'll do six. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to object again, we're going to go to path, and we're going to outline this stroke. I'm going to outline the stroke and then click on again your pathfinder which again is in Windows, go down to Pathfinder, and then click on Unite. So now this is a shape. Okay, so let's go to Layers and you will see, okay, so this shape. And then what you'll need to do is go to, come down here and go to um, your default fill and stroke. And now, as you can see, we're just, um, the stroke has gone onto the actual silhouette you had made. And if you click on it again, and then if you go into your stroke panel, which is again, window, down to stroke. And here we have it over here. So go into your stroke. And I wanna go to two points to make it a little thicker. And then the magic happens when you click on dashed. And there you go, you have a dashed line. Now, if you wanna change um, your points, so I usually have this to maybe five, 
It worked for me last time, which was five. And let's do 10. I like this gap of 10. And here I'm going to do the caps. So I like the edge of my dashes to be just a round cap. It's just a personal preference. Um, and there you go. That's your cut line. Now uh, there's a little problem here, which I will fix maybe later. So there's some problem with my artwork. So all you go is you just go click on your um, your anchor. And I want to delete this. So let's delete that. Okay, there we go. That should be better. Okay, that's clearer. Now, last thing before we go and finish up. Um, again, click on your outline. And just so the kids um, know that you have to cut this line, you can go down to your arrowheads, which is in your stroke panel. Go to arrowheads. And then you can click on the scissors option here, which is arrow 34. And there you go. It shows you a little scissors. So the kids know that they need to cut this. And my final thing is I'm going to change my color to a red. Uh, so they know that them. Um, it's important. Okay, so let my color swatches and let's click on red. Okay. And there you have it. This is your outline. Um, yeah, your guided scissors cutting outline, I guess you would call it. Great.